this one, I think this is, there's, there's more than one trailer. I've seen the one before this one that came out, I think. I guess I saw the How teaser. How many trailers are there? I only saw one, so I guess <laughs> this, I... This is... Like, I, I heard this movie was happening, and I was like, why? <laughs> um, it makes you feel any better. Pixar said that they're going to be doing nothing but original projects for, like, the next five movies. Um, uh, I mean, oh, the next five. <laughs> it's well, one year. Yeah. Well, it's, I guess it's weird, because it's like, okay, cool, you're not ruining the old stuff that's good, but I don't know, Pixar... Like Wally is the last one that I think I really love. You know, yeah, like, I haven't seen Wall. either of those movies. Since, you haven't like, seen Wally? Oh, out. we should watch Wally. I love Wally. I recently rewatched uh, Incredibles. That movie is good. Incredibles is really good. It makes Incredibles two look bad. I've not seen Incredibles two yet. I don't. I'm like Incredibles two is kind of bad. I don't want. Like, yeah. This is kind of why I don't want to see it. I'm like, don't ruin Incredibles for me. Like they absolutely did. <laughs> Kind Everyone of. wanted another Incredibles, and then we got it, and it was like, oh, I kind of wish really we didn't want ask it. for it. I didn't want it. I didn't want a new one, frankly. I don't. I yeah, don't really I, want well, I mean, I didn't thing. ask for it. I didn't want it. The thing is, you know, people. There are people who want to watch the new Lion King, so like, there is demand for these things. <sighs> Let's begin with Toy Story 4, then. <laughs> Toy Story, like, I didn't enjoy 3 that much. I've always just liked 1 and 2. Uh, uh, yeah, 1 and 2 are amazing, but yeah, 3 is, like, it's very similar to 2. Is I watched 3 uh, one time, and I was like, well, okay. That I, I think I watched, it watched it re I think I did rewatch it recently, and I just found it a little bit bizarre in a lot of ways. I like the ending, but, um... Was it YMS that has a video that explains, like, Toy Story 3 is just a rip-off of Toy Story 2? Yes, uh, it's... it's I mean, it's pretty uncanny. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's too much that's similar. I thought Toy Story 3's ending was supposed to be like, all right, guys, this is the end. This is the end for real, but it's never the end. I wonder if Toy Story 4 is going to end with, like, Woody gets decapitated. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. This is the end. Yeah, all right, here we go. No, no, she literally made a new friend. I want you to meet Forky. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Kind of makes you wonder what the fucking rules are for this shit. Yeah, I was about to say, what's the threshold? <laughs> uh, could anything be alive? Like, even a hair? Could you be like, you put googly so eyes on a like, hair? If she drew a text on Texter, like if she used a Texter and drew googly eyes or something on the bag, does the bag come to life? I don't if I, like, jab a straw into a potato, does that come alive? Apparently. I mean, did... Maybe she Frankenstein it, you know, she like plucked, she stuck the fork into an electrical slot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like getting this idea of like putting a bunch of straws in like some piece of food and then it comes alive and then you got like the Terminator theme in the background and it crawls around <laughs> facing everybody. I'm just, I'm picturing like you stab two things into like a big spaghetti bolognese. It's just like, kill me. <laughs> it's like, oh God. <laughs> like he got that really scene from Alien Resurrection. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this is the new character, I guess. This uh this kind of seems like deja vu to me. Isn't this the literally is Toy Story similar. 1? <laughs> this the setup is similar every time. Woody gets separated from the group. Like every time. Yeah, but this is he's chasing a toy that's lost, Buzz, from the first no, but, one. But this is this is what I mean. It's like <laughs> You know, when it was the first two movies, it's like, yeah, sure, whatever, that's fine. Then when it's the third movie, it's like, okay, it's getting... Alright. <laughs> now we're doing it a full time. Mm. Hey, I can't wait to have a Toy Story movie that covers the exact same plot as all of the other Toy Story Ah, movies. but there'll be a yeah. twist, for sure. Oh, yes, yeah, the, the twist is that it's a fork. Life. The twist is that it's this June. That's rarely ever uh... I mean... Now, how convenient is it that they found Bo? This is so plausible. I can't believe it. Like, there's no way. Remember, she she disappeared at, like, uh, in Toy Story 3. She'd been gone seemingly for a while. Yeah, so, uh, I guess her dress... Because it wasn't her whole thing that she could barely walk. She would just waddle. Oh, she's, she's absolutely been changed, like, in terms of the design, from what I remember. Because she used to have that big puffy dress because she was, like, a... Why do you That's even shattered. need Bo Peep? Couldn't you just make a new character that is this? Um, I guess she needs the history. Kind of like, yeah, but doesn't it kind of weaken even Toy Story 3 because that was kind of a thing? You, you know how it's like, oh, we lost people. Like, people moved on. Yeah. It's kind of sad to be like, we're never going to meet again. But now they've just 
this is convenience. What like, did they, yeah, what was, convenient? they had like a throwaway line for Bo Peep. Well, he was like, we, lo we lost people, you know, we lost um, the, the penguin, we lost, and then somebody said Bo Peep and he gets really sad. Mm. And it's like, oh yeah, no, we lost her. And it's like, oh, now it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> then I'll forget, I guess. When was Toy Story 3 released? Was that like 2010? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, wow. They, they decided to make yeah. a sequel ten years later. Well, doesn't that tell you that they were actually done? That they were like, wait, we're not done. <laughs> oh well, god. Because I mean, when was the uh, first one released for that matter? 1995. And the second? 1999. I, I'm but a then they made fan. another can one you, can you tell? 11 years later, and this time it's <laughs> yeah. not... Okay, yeah. Both well, I mean, here's a fun facts history about Toy Story. Toy Story 2 was meant to be a direct-to-DVD movie because I was doing a Bugs Life. And then they just were like, nah, let's make it a full movie. And then it ended up being fantastic. Yeah. And then I guess they decided to stop, and then 11 years later they came back and it was, it was fine, but... Like, it's time to stop. In there you, too. you had an ending. It's time to stop. <laughs> it's time to stop. <laughs> Dude, Toy Story 5 will be on its way, I'm sure. Who needs a kid's room when you can have all of So this? she's gonna be the villain, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm... Every time a character says you don't need to be with the kids to the toys, it's like, yeah, you're the villain. Not to mention the plot-wise, it's like, oh, we're halfway through the trailer and we've not really seen conflict of any kind yet, so she's probably gonna turn out to be the bad guy. It's kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy 2, where I was like, oh, Ego's gotta be evil, because what else can happen? Also, it's in his name. <laughs> that should have been the dead giveaway. I mean, people can have an ego. Well, fucking Tony Stark has a huge ego. Yeah, but, like, he's not Yeah, but he doesn't ego literally Stark. call himself Ego. <laughs> <laughs> and call Ego as well. Why did they never ask why he's called Ego? <laughs> <laughs> like, why'd you name yourself <laughs> Eco? <laughs> that would have been one of my first thoughts. So I'm, I'm guessing, is the plot going to be that they have a chance to go back to Bonnie and then she stops them? I would imagine so. It just see, I mean, because they had the whole thing with those ventriloquist dolls, but that seems like a red herring to me. Mm. I don't remember it being this hard. Woody? Somebody's. I don't remember it being this hard. It's like, what the. Yeah, it's like, what were the three movies about? <laughs> like. That's like, has true. it not been really difficult? You almost died in the last one. My point is more like, so Toy Story as a whole is like a kid's film, but then you'd be like, don't you understand the deeper messages that these films have? It's really cool. But this one seems to be like, we have a deep message. And you're like, oh, yeah, well, I mean. I mean, Pixar movies used to like, you went and see the movie and then you found out what the message was. You know what I mean? Like mm. it used to be something that you went to the movie and then you're like, oh, they, this is smart. Like Ratatouille, you know? The yeah. whole idea of anyone can cook, and it's really poignant. Oh, not everybody can be a great cook, but greatness can come from anywhere. It's like that. Oh, bravo, bravo. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got this. Well, what happens? This is the thing. Like, we don't have enough information to know whether or not this will be crap, but I think it's going to be crap. Hey, visually, it looks good. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the really same with movies now. They look really Pixar. good. Every movie Pixar. looks good. <laughs> It's really impressive, like, the, the actual fidelity of mm. in the trailer. It's, it's really good, but it's like, you know, Monsters, Inc., it, you know, visually it, it don't look, you know, amazing, but, like, it's aged really well because it's got a great story and great characters and great comedy. Yeah. Who was this made for? I'm guessing it was made for, like, both kids and people I've... like us who grew up on the original. This is the thing, I, I have to be cynical. I'm like, they're making it because of money, I'm guessing? Like, why? Their story's done. Well, the, yes, the story, the I mean, guys, and it was a really nice, Pixar. like, as much as I'm not a huge fan of Toy nice Story ending. 3, it was a nice ending. The toys toys move on to the yeah. next kid. It's like, oh, that's great. I mean, you guys well, know I mean, that that's... Pixar only makes high quality content like Cars 2 and Cars 3. Didn't they have a Cars? Yeah, but... Is there a Cars What's 4 that? or is it just 3? They had the spin off with the stupid pickup truck, didn't they? No, I don't think so. That might have been like a short film. There are three. Did they have like a, a planes movie with the exact same art? Style uh, I think yeah, but I think that was like direct to DVD, so it doesn't count. But the reason why they made Cars was because Cars is like the most profitable toy line that Disney has ever had. It's super successful. They had a series of short animated films called Mater's Tall Tales. <laughs> why? <everyone> really cares <laughs> about it. <laughs> Cars was perfect because they could just easily make toys out of it, but good god, did Cars just suck. Well, I mean, Cars 1 is like, yeah, it's, it's probably the first time Disney, like, first time Pixar ever kind of didn't do a good job. Yeah, they didn't knock it out of the park. You're like, oh. But then Ratatouille came out after that, and it was amazing. 
So I remember and then Wally watching Cars out. too because I was like forced to, and the <laughs> whole time I was like, "This is a really awful film." <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember Cars 2. I think I it was like one of the first animated movies I ever watched that I genuinely hated. Really? Was that the first time you didn't see Shark Tale as a kid? Oh, I did, but as a kid, I wasn't... <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't hate Shark Tale as a kid. How terrible that movie was. I... Man, there was always something about that movie that's just like, I didn't... I don't know what it was, I didn't like it. If I was to watch it today, I'd probably just laugh at how dumb it is. Like, I mean, shit, I think I even, like, found some entertainment from Home on the Range when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But Cars 2, when did that come out? I think it was in middle school when that happened. That was about 2011, I think. At least date. So, yeah. Oh, actually, that was my... That might have been my first year of high school. In which case, that was when I was starting to develop a brain, <laughs> and that was when I watched that movie, and I was like, "Wow!" This so is you enjoyed awful. you enjoyed Chicken Little as well. You enjoyed that as a kid. Oh God! Oh, that was really with Zach Braff, wasn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay. Well, hold on. When when was Chicken Little released? Because I need to defend myself here. Two thousand six, I think. Okay, Chicken Little release date two thousand five. Okay, so I was yeah. an eight year old when that came out. So I have a defense for liking that shitty movie. <laughs> I don't like it now, but when I was eight, I was like, this is great. I feel like kids have, you know, uh, like, I feel no like... Brains? I, no brains? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm, no I, I'm defending kids. Listen, I think they can pick up, you know, occasionally on something that's crap. Um, it would have to be real crap. I, I don't know. Like, there, there were movies that as a kid, I'm like, this is boring. You know? Like... It, well, such as? Well, I mean, you, you listed, like, Home on the Range. I didn't like that movie when I came out. Oh, God, I don't remember anything about it, aside from there being cows and a retarded horse, but uh, was that really... The other one. It was Shrek, the Shrek. to that movie? I don't genuinely remember well, anything Shrek, about it. Shrek the Third, that, I remember that. Oh, fuck that like movie. That uh, yeah, I didn't like it either, though, if that's what I mean. I remember that was the <laughs> one I only watched once, and I was like... <laughs> I remember liking it, but then I was like... I don't want to watch it again. I think, uh, wasn't that Justin Timberlake was in that? <laughs> Fuck that movie. Um, that one sucks ass. Awesome. Right, so, next up is It, uh, 2. Have you, has everyone seen It 1? I know Wolf has. I have. No, I haven't. Oh. I, I did tell you this. Fucking, I, <laughs> I need people to know. Not just be me. Otherwise people will be like, why is Friggy saying stupid tisms if he's, if he's seen the movie? They need to know, Friggy. Gotta let people know. Okay. God. Okay, God. This fucking bird person. Fuck you, <laughs> fucking gas mask fuck. That's your opinion. Uh, so the <laughs> short version is creepy cloud tries to murder people, and then they stop him, but then the, the legend is that he'll return. He'll always return, so I guess this is fast-forwarding to when all of the people from the first film have gotten to be adults, and uh, he's coming back. So. Well, you feel like you could just about die. <laughs> <laughs> See, at this point, I'd be like, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna, I'm going. <laughs> it's too weird. It's too weird. You're being weird. No one who dies here ever really dies. Oh, God. This is the fucking Luke Skywalker quote. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever really gone. Really gone. Not even it. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. See, this is me. I just like being creeped out. I love horror. Tell me how Oof. Pose, I'm gonna... Jump out the fucking window! <laughs> Wait, she actually went to start talking about the portrait and be like, has she not gotten the red flag yet? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you could ignore the wound. Oh, dude, I'm loving it! I want creepy shit. I love it. I know. <laughs> oh god, naked grab. Oh, jeez! Oh yes, he's in it. Okay, I'm just yeah. totally sold yeah, now. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. I'm bothered <laughs> that he's not bald because he's supposed to be in the book, but in both the miniseries and this, they just decided not to make him bald. But how much whatever. is it important to like his character? Does it matter at all? Not, or? not really, uh, even remotely. But it's a detail that they. Did they not see this? Why? Maybe, maybe what? Maybe they should I mean, have shot this like right after X-Men. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was about to say, we know that he's okay with being bald. <laughs> he's yeah, fine with being bald. Sense. It just doesn't make sense why he isn't, is the thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's a nitpick, but still. But yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. really happy with his casting. I'm happy with her casting. Uh, I think it's going to be Bill Hader. Happy with the granny casting. Really 
Oh yeah, she's creepy as hell. <laughs> Hello. Yep, I'm sold. I'll go see that. Excited. Give me. Hopefully they have learned uh, maybe what their strengths are and what their weaknesses are, and they can move on from it. Who knows? Maybe it'll be terrible, but I I think that's a solid trailer. And I actually yeah, like um the concept of trailers going for like playing a decent chunk of a scene as opposed to mm -hmm. flashes of loads of shit. And that's like a really good scene to start off with, too. And I love the detail. Uh, you probably missed it, but Beverly has scars on her arm. If you look kind of closely at some. Yeah, of the I saw that. Um, saw that. Yeah. Uh, in the book, she gets into an abusive relationship, which is kind of Stockholm syndrome from her father. And I was afraid they were going to cut that, but it doesn't look like they are. So I'm really happy that they're including that. So Zombieland like... 2, that's actually a thing? Yeah, yes. I heard about that one. That could be good. Probably not. I probably shouldn't get my hopes up. Every time that <laughs> happens, I tend to get disappointed. <laughs> Remember when we thought the Game of Thrones Season 8 might be good, and then it wasn't? <laughs> what do you mean? It was so good. Yeah, it was, it was so good. It was great. How they shit on Jon's character and made the White Walkers useless, and how Ghost got nothing and the dragon dies because retard <laughs> i saw that scene because i looked it up online about the dragon just getting shot <laughs> with an arrow and just dying just like what what's going on it's such a dumb move like why not just have the dragon die in the previous episode fighting the other dragon it could have been cool <laughs> it made more sense if you're gonna kill him anyway just kill him there no you were on fucking harpoon dip to death <laughs> 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 all right fine oh. right so i've I've not seen this, but you two have, oh. so... Oh, yeah. you're, in, you're, you're in for a treat! So I'm fucking out. Oh god, Cyclops, what's up, dude? <laughs> James Marsden, that's his name? He yeah, just can't assassin. stop doing bad movies, I don't know. Why would he agree to... Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. still waiting on Sammy Classic Sonic fans' reaction to this. Oh god, everyone wants to see that freaking guy respond to this freaking trailer. <laughs> I Frick. love how everyone's been doing the Sammy memes with this. <laughs> like, the, the top comment on the trailer, or at least it was, I don't know if it still is, was, don't you know that your actions have consequences? <laughs> <laughs> you freaking fricks! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, that's so hideous! <laughs> <laughs> it actually makes me think it's like, is that like a naked dude in a onesie, like skin type fursuit? <laughs> it looks, it looks bad, doesn't it? That's hideous. It's honestly it's repulsive, isn't it? It's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's creepy. It's making me shudder. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it! Oh. Okay, I want to. I just want to draw attention. He has lips, and it's really uncanny. He has teeth, too, like human proper teeth. Like really, you see, really human teeth. You, you see him in a minute. <laughs> Get ready. Energy surge. What is this like a soundtrack? Why did it really? Yeah, Dance is paradise? Guys, Why? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? What a choice, okay. <laughs> Now that is why I really want to see this movie. Jim Carrey is <laughs> fucking Eggman. Why not? <laughs> Are you in charge here? Yes, I am. No! My I'm wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's do it. Fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I can see that James Miles being like, oh! <laughs> Shoot it! <laughs> The most Ooh. disgusting thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Nobody could possibly look at this and think, yes, this is good. Look at his nose. Of... The nose looks like it's off... It looks twisted sideways. Yeah, it looks kinda. like it's made of stone. Yeah. What if it turns <laughs> out that they only tweak it and it's mostly the same, though? Like, that could be the case. I don't... You can't tweak this. It's fucked. No, I'm sorry. I'm saying, I'm saying it's mostly the same. Like, they just say they're going to try and fix it, but they don't really. Then it might still be salvageable as a meme movie. We need it as a meme movie. <laughs> uh... Oh. oh, yeah. What are you doing, guys? <laughs> look at his tiny little hands. <laughs> Meow. Ew, the hands look gross. It's, it's, Everything that's looks actually gross. A, that's a really realistic reaction to that horrifying little mess. Oh, it's... okay. So, Mahler, keep in mind oh, that he couldn't avoid that dart. We can only travel at like the speed of sound. Yeah, just, just pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done with it yet. Okay, pal, I
Oh, why? Everything's oh. wrong. It's all wrong. Look at this. It doesn't even um, look like he's actually there at all. Planet. I mean, I get his CGI and all that, but look at that. Yeah. Does that not look Photoshopped? Yeah, well, he looks poorly composited. He's just placed on top of the scene. It doesn't even look like he's staring <laughs> in the direction of the guy. <laughs> it looks so bad. Everything's wrong. <laughs> it's all wrong. God, it's really bad. I mean, that is like literally one of the ugliest CGI things I've ever seen. <laughs> it, it, it looks like a machination from your fucking nightmares. I mean, I'm genuinely <laughs> trying to think of a worse CGI. I mean, sure, we've got movies like The Incredible Bulk and that shit. But I mean, <laughs> this is disgusting. This is the ugliest <laughs> thing I think I've ever seen. This fucking soundtrack. I don't understand what they're doing with this. Is that all you got? Ew. Uh, but thank you for asking. Hear it? Neutralize it. What is with the play pausing of the fucking soundtrack? I, I'm just, I'm so lost. It's a very weird, it's a very weird choice. It feels really, like, not appropriate at all. Yeah. This is so beyond unsuitable. <laughs> Bid spin the most dull. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I also want to draw attention to the fact that he just used, like, one of the ring things as, like, the portals that Doctor Strange I was about to uses. say, yeah, the almost one for one looks like Doctor Strange. Like, what? Oh, what the fuck? Also, oh, that looks like they'd still they probably fun. die if they, were fall if they were falling at, like... Well, I mean, it's not gonna slow their velocity. They just... They would just skid across the concrete and explode <laughs> into flesh. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm sure they'll be fine. Probably already in some velocity as well. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll fall into hay like an Assassin's Creed. Ew! <laughs> oh, look at, look look at, at that! Oh, look at his proportions! That is so bad. He got shot by a dart, but he can avoid all of this. And also, this you know, the speed of sound is like 330 meters per second, so it's not that fast. I was gonna really. say, surely they shouldn't freeze, but okay. No, he, he's super dead. I mean, like, at least in, you know, <laughs> kind of slowly, you know, that was, it was, like, it was pretty slow. But it was when still moving. It was from X Men. Does the speed thing better than Sonic? Dude, everybody, everybody's copy. You know, it's funny because Over the Hedge, pretty sure, did that first. The whole slow motion shit. And then Quicksilver did it, and now everybody oh my wants God, to I do forgot. it. Yeah, I know it's a pretty forgettable movie, but fucking hell, I'd watch that a hundred times over fucking five minutes of this piece of shit. Seriously, this this would be one of my candidates for like the worst trailer music choice ever. Just unsuitable. <laughs> you reckon there's gonna be like a cameo from Tails in this? I'm, uh, that'll I'm be the after credit scene I, to set up the universe. You know, yeah. what? I'm sad that we're not getting this version of the movie because then we could have got <laughs> a, like a really solid Ugandan Knuckles movie as a sequel. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> do you know do we? Wow. See, I don't look so bad that part, but it's like, sh I imagine that's right at the end. You know what I mean? Like, that's probably the post credit scene. I imagine that in the boardroom, they're like, it's got to be realistic. It's like, it's a fucking hedgehog that runs at the speed of sound. Why does it need to have non-conjoined eyes? And like, yeah, it's a, a blue hedgehog that runs really fast and his greatest enemy is a fat dude who right you know like we got detective pikachu which like has come out and i haven't seen it yet but if you look at the trailers it looks like it sort of embraces its gaminess i mean you know? that one at least looks good visually it, i don't really care yeah. to watch it but mm -hmm. no but, but but what i mean is it's like surely we're past the point of you know like these movies where it's like oh it's got to be kind of realistic so we can't have it look good it, you know, it's, it's got to be kind of realistic, so we got to change the design and have it look like garbage. How did that go past anybody? And they were like, yeah, that's good. Like, the guy who actually came up with the final design helped out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine test screening it and seeing everybody simultaneously go, oh. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> who knows, maybe them it's attempting the to fix it will make it worse. <laughs> I don't see how it could ever be worse than that. Could it get worse? Just, keep, just separate his eyes even further. <laughs> no. Put them on the sides of his head. Oh god. <laughs> Make his mouth a bit bigger. I think, like, what do you guys think is the the primary element of his design that p puts people off at first? Is it the separated um, eyes, or is it the body? I, I think, I, I think it's I, the I, mouth. You can find a shot of his face because it looks oddly <laughs> human. Oh. oh. That looks weird. Like, look at the lip. Like, it's the lips and the eyes. And the teeth. 
I mean, like, there's a lot this? wrong because it's 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 his proportions, it's the eyes. You you see like on the eyes how it's got that fleshy bit. Can you see it? Like, yeah, the yeah. Pink yeah. On his eyes. It's just really off putting, and like, again, tried it's like to make it both realistic and cartoony at the same time. Yeah. And it ended up in this horrible abomination. Just embrace the cartooniness. There's, I mean, you can't fix this because, I mean, let's get real. It's not going to have a good story. It's not going to be funny for the most part, probably. Yeah, Unless that, this was the, just a really bad trailer. I, that's the reason why I'm so sad that they're even bothering to change the design. <laughs> and if they had that shitty design, we could have memes of this movie for like 20 years. Okay, maybe not that long, but you know, it would it would last a very long time. Now it's just going to be another shitty movie that nobody's going to remember in a month.